morning, Jupiter Middle. I'm Bree Denau, and today is Wednesday, September 16th. Welcome to JMS. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. Today is a day six, and tomorrow we start a rotation over again. The Google Meets contest deadline is today at 5 p.m. Teachers, send your most creative meet pictures to Miss Deal by 5 p.m. so you can win a prize and your class can be famous. The winner will be announced on Friday's news. Let's hear what Alicia has to share. In our cultural corner, September 15th through October 15th is recognized as Hispanic Heritage Month. The month celebrates the lives of the lives of Hispanic Americans, the cultural traditions, and our accomplishments in our country. Today we spotlight Roberto Clemente. Clemente was born in Puerto Rico and is famous for his talents on the baseball field, while he played 18 seasons for the Pittsburgh Pirates. His talent earned him a seat in the Baseball Hall of, Hall of Fame. However, Mr. Clemente was known for far more than his talents on the baseball field. As a humanitarian, he worked to help those in need, focusing on those from Latin American countries. He was a strong advocate for Latin American baseball players' rights, having suffered discrimination as both a person born in another country and being black. He acknowledged that it was an extremely difficult life to live in such a racially divided country. He even insisted on being called his given name, Roberto, rather than adopting the nicknames such as Bob or Bobby, that sports and fans often try to give him. Clemente is noted as stating that one of his greatest accomplishments was working to erase long-held and incorrect opinions of Latin Americans and Blacks, not just in baseball, but in society. Clemente died tragically during a humanitarian mission in 1972. Not Hi, Miss Hasty. Thanks so much, Bree and Alicia, and I'm so glad and thankful that the WJM crew has started our celebration of Hispanic Heritage Month. I think that is absolutely wonderful, and I look forward to learning more things this month. Okay, students, um, I know some of you have been asking about lanyards when we return to school, and just to let you know, our beautiful, wonderful PTO has decided to give us all lanyards. So you won't even need to purchase them this year. They're coming straight to you. In the first day or two back in brick and mortar, you'll get your color-coded lanyard. I was talking with someone out front today who had a question about it. He had a green lanyard from last year and wanted to know if he should wear it. I said, sure, you can wear it, but you're gonna get a new one. In fact, what you might wanna do, take it, take it off, and then become a seventh grader. So um, I'm excited that you guys are gonna get the new lanyards. Nothing wrong with a green lanyard though, sixth graders, you'll enjoy wearing those as well. And eighth graders, it's the blue time for you. Okay, all right, everybody, stay safe. And as always, make it a great day or not, the choice is yours.